What's up everyone, Little T here, and I'm at the Blue Star Gym. What up guys, my name is Starfell Strong. What's up guys, Dashu here from Blue Star Nutraceuticals. Today we're at the Blue Star Gym. We're here for the PPK launch event, which I'm super excited for. I'm really excited to show you guys what PPK is all about. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Come check this out. We're about to have so much fun today. I've never tried PPK and I've never been to this gym yet. So let's get into it. How are you? Good. Well, let's get started. I'm gonna show you guys why you have to work out with PPK. Today, we're gonna show you why every workout is better with PPK. I love a good pre-workout, especially on days where I'm filming a lot or if I'm doing a lot of like, just flipping stuff where I need a ton of energy. We're gonna be trying the new PPK pre-workout formula. Over here, I have the rock candy uh, flavor. I'm really excited to try it. I actually have no idea what rock candy would even taste like, so um, we're gonna give it a try. A pre-workout is perfect for me. I'm a little bit of a smaller human, so I do like Probably just half a scoop for me. The good thing about this pre-workout formula is that it has no beta alanine, uh, so it's not gonna make you feel like any sickness or any tingling and stuff. I know a lot of people don't really like that. And it also has 300 milligrams of caffeine, so. Shake it up. All right, ready? I'm so excited. All right, let's give it a try. Ooh, that is good. That tastes like, um, like an orange Fanta or like those like classic orange drinks. Crazy, because that's the name of it. Very accurate. Wow, that's pretty good. It's like almost sour. It's a little fizzy. That is freaking delicious. What's up? What's yeah. up? Ugh. What do you have for us? I picked an incline piston press, which Ooh. is essentially an incline alternating dumbbell press. <laughs> Love yeah. that. And I also picked a single arm dumbbell snatch. How about you too? Yeah. Oh, we're hitting some legs for me. Legs. We're gonna be doing some pistol squats. Pistol squats. Pistol squats. I'm in yeah. trouble. Okay, and then we're gonna do a modified dragon. So we're gonna go woo and then tap our knee. That sounds terrifying. So we're gonna test your guys' mobility just a little bit today. Yeah, a little like bit. All ankle mobility. All right, yeah. cool. Yes. <laughs> it See, is. I wear my six inch stiletto, so yeah. I have an advantage. <laughs> um, so we'll introduce you guys to a low bar back squat, talk about maybe the difference between low bar and high bar. Um, and then I picked devil's presses. So it's kind of like a burpee. It's almost like continuity in like a sister exercise to the dumbbell snatch, but it's both. So it was like one of my favorite exercises. Oh yeah, it looks like there's a lot it. more cardio involved in that one. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, so. Okay. You gotta stay strutted some way. Okay. I know. All right. Well, I'm excited. I'm Should we pumped. get started? I'm super first? pumped. Let's yeah. do it. Yeah, All right. Let's get it. Let's Tell get us which way. Oh, you're in trouble. Ready you're in trouble. This impresses. You can do this on a flat bench. I really like to do it on an incline bench, mainly just because I'm always trying to work the upper pec if possible. Yeah. Same. To avoid Same. the whole man boob type situation nice. that can, that can occur. I really, really <laughs> need to watch the man boob situation. In terms of incline, the degree of incline, really anything past 30 degrees is going to hit that clavicular head. You're going to feel this a lot through your midsection, and you're going to want to make sure you're bracing really hard. So huge deep breath, squeeze the midsection as hard as you can. When your dumbbells are up, you want your shoulder blades down and back, and you're gonna bring one down, and then as you're pressing this one up, the other one comes down. It's a, but yeah, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it's gonna look like. That's what mine's gonna look like. Yeah. <laughs> <For fighting. laughs> We're gonna energize. The other thing will be in terms of breathing, I never do a full exhale at any point, so I'll take a big deep breath in, and okay. I'm doing like short, almost hissing okay. type inhales oh, and yes, exhales. Oh yes, did say you like to grunt. I, and I like to hiss. Like um, to hit, yeah, just like that? Um, but the main thing is, is if you if you exhale too much, you're going to lose that core Reception. stability. And yeah. a lot of times, if you push all the air out, you're going to end up kind of going concave with the chest. Yeah, we don't want that. Okay. No, because then you lose Sounds your shoulder good. stability. Yeah. So here, I'm going to set my shoulder blades down and back. I want my rib cage up nice and high, and I'm going to make sure my feet are really plastered to the ground because I'm going to need to push off of them. So big deep breath in. Feel awesome? Feeling like a nice little pump going on right now. There you go. There the you energy go. Is PPK? flowing. Yeah. Salt. All right. So we've got a um, single arm dumbbell snatch. We want the movement to come through the hips, not the arms. I know we've all got massive biceps here. Yes. Oh, actually, I just really big triceps. Boom. Yeah. All tricep. Yeah. No bicep at all. <laughs> Again, I'm going to drop down. I want my lower back nice and straight. I'm going to brace the core, explode, driving the hips forward. And I want the dumbbell to stop right over my head. So I'm just going to do six per side. Not 
Nice. Sweet. Nice. Good work. All right, so now it's my turn for our exercises. So we're gonna be doing some pistol squats as well as some advanced pistol squats, which is gonna be the dragon or the modified dragon. If you guys haven't done them before, or if you just know you're not as strong with them, especially with like your ankle mobility or your hip, definitely just try it on a box first. It'd be a single leg squat. So just making sure this leg is stacked knee over ankle. I like to reach my arms in front of me just to kind of help bring my weight a little bit more forward. Ah. We're gonna hinge on our hips, send our hips back, sit down on the box, fully sit if you need to, and then come back up. But if you can, and I do want you guys to try, having you up here, going straight down, and then up. She's so mobile. Right? Yeah. You got the PPK in you, you can do it. I know. I feel like I'm on gymnastics again. <laughs> <laughs> Killed it. Thank you. I find when I'm doing Mobility Mondays, honestly, I need a little bit of energy, I need that PPK, because I do so many repetitions. Like sometimes I'll be like Mobility Monday for a full hour just on the same leg. I need that energy. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is a modification of a dragon pistol squat. So this is one of my favorite movements. It requires like all of the mobility. So to modify it first, we're gonna have our leg here. It's called like a nice little swimming motion. We're gonna take this leg around, and all we're gonna do is just Tap that heel, Ooh. and then come back up. All right, you guys want to try it? I want to go for it. Yeah, okay. go for it. Okay. I believe in you. Okay. All right, so we got our legs pumped up. Back to Steph for our third exercises. We'll go to squat rack, have some PPK, try a new flavor. Which ones have you tried so far? I've done fruit punch so far. That's I honestly, I really, oh, man. I'm, 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 I'm sizing up the orange drink. Ooh, Ooh. I'm drinking that one right now. I Delicious. Oh, I yeah. love that one. All right. I think I the fruit try. punch is my favorite. Tried three different tried kinds so far. Orange? The orange, it is good. So delicious. No. So one of my favorite things about BPK is that I'm not scratching my face. Nothing's burning, nothing's hurting, but I got this crazy pump right now and my energy levels are through the roof. It's awesome, loving it. Uh, so my first exercise here is the low bar back squat. So I'm gonna walk you guys through the low bar back squat here. Low bar, the barbell is gonna be, actually be sitting uh, just below your upper trap, right on that, like there's a crevice right where your rear delts hit. That'll help generate a little bit more upper back tightness. You want your barbell height uh, not to be too high. Matt, I'm sorry, you're lifting with five foot tall women today. And so. a quarter. Five That's foot, okay. Five foot and a quarter. I'm not complaining. Okay, so we're gonna grab the bar. Like I said, it's just right underneath that rear delt position. That's a good, perfect spot. We're gonna walk it out. Big air on your belly. Keeping that chest locked down as I squeeze my air. I'm pulling the barbell into the center of my back and I'm squatting hip crease below parallel. So yeah, I don't know, Taylor, if you wanna take this for a set of eight to 10, then we'll start loading her up. All right, first I'm gonna need some PPK. I'm trying grape. Grape? Have you tried it yet? No, I haven't tried, that's the only one I haven't tried yet. It smells, smell it. It smells good. Ooh, like a popsicle. Like a freezy. Like a freezy. Yeah. Right? It's not like that medicinal grape. It's I know. like, you know what I mean? It's like, not Buckley's. Yeah, it's not Buckley's, guys. <laughs> it, it tastes good. great and it works. All right, so um, this is the Devil's Press. Um, so essentially it's kind of like a burpee and a double arm dumbbell snatch. So it's kind of like building on what we did earlier with Matt, uh, single arm dumbbell snatch. The same premise exists, so it's still keeping uh, the dumbbells close to your body. It's like doing up that onesie zipper from the floor um, and it's relying a lot on that powerful hip extension. All good things in life come from that hip extension, am I right? Oh yeah. Okay, so all the way down. Um, we're not doing a perfect push up. You can get up if you want. Okay, so I like to spring back up Get my toes back to my dumbbells, and we're getting overhead, okay? Woo. Well, I aim to do six reps. Um, we're all pretty amped up with that PPK right now. We've had 300 milligrams of caffeine. All right, Matt. Me first? Yep. Ooh. Let's see it. Let's see it. Okay. I gotta study it first. Yes, yes, Satan himself definitely created those. <laughs> Spawn of Satan. Oh man. They're 
I love those. I know, they're so good. I like those a lot. You love and hate them. And then, then they had their program, and then you gotta do 25 of them. Might like them a little bit less than 25 reps. Yeah. Six was nice, six, six was, was nice. Perfect. I can tell you I wouldn't be doing it without PPK. Yeah, right? Just saying. Oh, yeah. Max. No way. Yeah. Oh, okay, so how am I feeling after this workout? I'm feeling amazing. My energy levels are awesome. The pump I got was awesome. We only did a couple sets of these exercises and man, I'm like feeling every little bit of it. I'm like old school when it comes to pre-workout. I was never really afraid to take it or anything, but there was one thing I always hated was that itchy, burny feeling. This stuff has none of that. The difference that makes for me is unbelievable. I can actually focus on my workout, feel what I'm doing and not feeling like I'm gonna have to go to the hospital at any point. Um, the other thing I love 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 about this outside of the taste because they all taste fantastic is that i can take i can take half a dose um, on days that i have a fair bit of energy and still get an unbelievable pump all in all fantastic workout best pre-workout i've ever had and you should give it a shot just finished up our workout and i am so glad i had ppk with me because one Orange drink, absolutely delicious to sip on during my workout, as well as grape, those are the two flavors I was drinking today. In terms of the workouts, I'm usually pretty picky when it comes to pre-workout. Usually I feel tingly or my heart rate gets like super fast. With PPK, none of those side effects, it just feels like you have a nice pump when you're working out. You have the perfect amount of energy when you're doing things. I personally found it very helpful for some of the uh, exercises that were a little bit harder for me, so that devil's press by Steph, as well as that low bar squat, that was difficult, but thankfully, with that little bit of energy, it just felt a little bit easier to get through the workout. So if you guys have to try a flavor, I would say go with orange drink, it's my absolute favorite, um, or the grape. Both taste really, really good. My review of the infamous PPK, it's a really great pre-workout. I personally like to take pre-workouts on really heavy days um, or dual lift days, so days that I'm like squatting and deadlifting in the same session or on mornings where I'm lifting nice and early before I get all my meals and caffeine intake in. Uh, it has 300 milligrams of caffeine, which is fantastic. Um, I also love how it has hydration products in it, like coconut water. It also has pink Himalayan sea salt. Those are not only really great additions to the formula that gives you a nice pump feeling, uh, but it's also really good to help keep you stay hydrated. Um, in addition to that, the flavors. This one is the orange drink. This one tastes like an orange fizzy. I love it. But my personal favorite probably has to be the fruit punch flavor. Uh, can't go wrong with that. So yeah, it's great. Definitely something that I'm gonna continue taking. I, uh, I love it. And I hope you guys love it just as much as I do. So that is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. How do you guys feel? Awesome. Feel good. Yeah, how did yeah. that PPK taste? Uh, fantastic. Yeah, well, I love the fruit punch. Fruit yeah. punch? Same. Yeah. I'm an orange drink girl. This one's my absolute favorite. <laughs> Rock candy was good too though. Mm, it was very, very good. So if you guys haven't tried a pre-workout, I definitely recommend this one. This one tastes so good and we felt energized through our entire workout. If you guys try any of the exercises that we did today, comment below, let us know how it went. Hopefully the modifications were good. We did lots of different options for everyone. And yeah. we tried lots of new stuff today, right? Yeah, those dragon those dragons. Princess? We did. Yes. Yeah. We love them. I learned I am not a dragon. I am not a dragon. <laughs> yeah. Just part dragon. I'm working on it. Embrace it, embrace it. All good. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. If you guys have a chance to try it, um, I promise you're gonna love it just as much as we do. And again, our pre-workout is out, so make sure to give it a grab. If you're seeing this video and you wanna try some pre-workout, give this stuff a shot. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks.